Chapter 140. Evil Typha Drinking Blood, 2. Chen Beijiao didn't know what was going on, but Li Xuangin and Nai Ufen understood, so they both stepped back and dragged Chen Beijiao, who was standing in the middle, to the back as well. Good, let us start. Pretty boy Shengshen, little bastard Kingsun, go. This big uncle will slaughter all of you. Li Kai laughed. At this moment, he activated the runes on the Dao platform. As the demon monarchs of the Flying Dragon Lake in the faraway common area and the other cultivators witnessed the scene in the heavenly mirror, they felt that he was defying all common sense. A demon monarch murmured. Has this brat gone crazy? Does he want to slaughter everyone? He went insane. A mere firefly that still dares to compete with the brilliance of the moon. Heavenly Prince King Suan's azure and mysterious eyes, that were capable of seeing through everything, unleashed a sword made from the ore to cut Li Kai, Dao Child Shengshen, with a cruel glimmer in his eyes, also snorted and took out the true treasure to slash at Li Kai, kill, slaughter this brat. Suddenly, all of the cultivators from behind also rushed forward. They not only intended to kill Li Kai, but also to seize the treasure, Za. However, at this very moment, the Dao platform underneath Li Kai, that resembled a precious treasure case, suddenly staggered and horrifying bloody rays rushed out in the blink of an eye. Boom. Carrying immense power, the rays threw out all of the people with an impact that knocked on all of them, including Heavenly Prince King Sun, Grand Pugwan, and our child Shengshen. They were all sent flying away the moment the rays pierced the sky. Everyone who took action, regardless of whether they were royal nobles or enlightened beings, were all swept flying like falling leaves. At this moment, the center of the Dao platform completely opened. A stream of actual blood that was different from the former bloody rays gushed out. This stream of blood dispersed an iron-like bloody stench that filled the air of the entire area. This fresh blood was extremely beautiful, demonically beautiful. It soared up to the sky and encompassed the group of Li Kai. Subsequently, it rushed straight down and turned into thousands of blood arrows that headed straight at Li Kai's group. Ha ha, you dare to even mess with me. Do you not remember the lesson? Li Kai smiled and gently blew some lotus ashes that he carried in his palm. The lotus ashes immediately hovered around Li Kai's body and, at the same time, Li Xuang and Nai Ufen also spilled some lotus ashes that disappeared in the surroundings. The blood arrows felt the dread of the lotus ashes and instantly melted into one. It hovered in the sky as if it was staring carefully at Li Kai. Ploof, ploof. Suddenly, this bloody amalgamation turned into countless strands of blood, and they all shot out with an extreme speed that was impossible for the eyes to discern. Kill. Seeing the strands of blood flying forward, the cultivators who were knocked away earlier summoned their life treasures. Pluff, bluff. But even when they used life treasures, they couldn't cut through these strands of blood. In an instant, blood spurted out as cultivator after cultivator was impaled by the bloody lines. Ah. Screams rang out. While the pierced wounds of the blood strands themselves weren't fatal, when these strands of blood went through the body, they started to suck the cultivator's blood at a shocking rate and immediately grew in size. Ah. In a flash, pitiful bellows resounded in the air. A few hundred cultivators' blood was sucked dry, and they fell down from the sky. Escape. Seeing the indestructible strings of blood, they were terrified. One yelled loudly and turned around to run. Bang. 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 However, at this moment, many large roots rushed out from the ground like octopus tentacles, but they were far more terrifying than ordinary tentacles. Ah. This person running away was pierced by the root and had his blood sucked dry as he wrinkled up and ended up as a dry, empty husk. Swish. Amidst this chaos, countless large evil roots rushed towards all of the cultivators with extreme velocity. They interweaved into an inescapable net that surrounded the group of Heavenly Prince King Su. Slay. The group of Heavenly Prince King Su and ferociously roared and activated their techniques with flying life treasures thundering in the air, slashing away at the inescapable net made from the tree roots. However, the evil roots were far more terrifying than their imagination. As the sounds of XSHHHH, XSHHH, XSHHHH reverberated, the strings of blood from the Dao platform were absorbed by the evil roots and suddenly, a terrifying evil aura appeared as countless more roots came into being like endless needles. At this time, behind the endless tree roots was a broken stump. It wasn't high, only around three feet, but it seemed like a horrifying demon lord where all of the evil roots came from its body. The most frightening thing was that it had a pair of black eyes on its body. When this wooden stump appeared, its terror didn't stop there. It suddenly emitted an endless evil presence that soared through the sky. Boom. At this time, the evil presence was absorbed by the wooden stump and turned into even more strings made out of the black aura. They merged with the evil roots and turned into the most terrifying of weapons that slashed constantly and sucked people's blood dry when they wrapped onto someone. It finally came out even stronger than my expectations. On top of that, it became a whole stump and not just a main root. Li Kai looked at the wooden stump around three feet long and murmured. The wooden stump of the evil Taifa tree. Li Xuangyin was creeped out after seeing the wooden stump with the two black eyes. At this time, she understood why Li Kai called it a ghastly being. Meanwhile, a section of the evil roots was trapping and killing all of the cultivators while the other roots were frantically devouring the strings of blood from the Dao platform. What? What are these things? Why are these evil things crazily sucking blood? The Dao platform was still shooting out numerous strings of blood that not only pierced the cultivators' bodies, but they also launched into the evil roots and got absorbed by them. Seeing this scene, Chen Beijia was creeped out. It was as if the blood was evil. You guessed it. This is indeed evil blood. Li Kai cheerfully smiled. The peerless, valuable blood of the evil Taifa tree is shockingly scarce. This evil blood is the biggest temptation to the living tree roots and evil plants. This is not a treasure of gods. This is a trap. Chen Beijiao exclaimed with an astonished expression. She was not dumb and immediately understood the reasoning behind it. Li Kai glanced over at her and said. You aren't too stupid. 
who said there was a treasure of the gods here. This is a Tao platform that is used to bait the surviving evil roots. Ah. At this point, when the horrifying screech resonated, one cultivator after another died horrifically under the assault of the evil Typha root. It knew that Li Kai was a powerful enemy, so it didn't target him and only killed the other cultivators. Having absorbed the precious evil blood along with the evil aura, the stump of the evil Typha tree was further strengthened. At this point, not to mention the other cultivators, but even royal nobles would be easily slaughtered. Mother, what kind of devil is this? The flying dragon lakes demon monarchs, along with other cultivators at the common area, saw this scene and were shivering with chills. Ah, this is the evil Typha tree in the legends. When it matures completely, all of us will die in this place without a doubt. The turtle monarch's face became pale and he turned tail to run. Seeing his escape, other cultivators immediately followed suit. Ah, enlightened being C2 screamed as an evil root pierced his chest and drained his blood dry in a flash. Even as he was dying, his eyes were wide open. He was unwilling to believe that this would be his end. As for the group of Dao Child Shengshen and Heavenly Prince King Xun, they were flabbergasted. Despite Heavenly Prince King Xun's peerless emperor merit laws and with the help of Dao Child Shengshen and Grand Pugwan, they couldn't escape the net woven by the evil roots. As the roots of the evil Typha tree absorbed more energy, it became even stronger. A few times, Heavenly Prince King Xun's group almost made it through, but they were forced back at the very last moment. As his royal noble and enlightened being numbers decreased, Heavenly Prince King Xun's face became extremely ugly. He made his decision, then he roared and shouted, Kill! In the blink of an eye, he summoned an item that was floating on top of his head. Boom! Amidst the fire and thunder, when this item came out, the invincible emperor returned into an emperor light that swept through everything, slashing the countless evil roots from the sky and protecting the group of Heavenly Prince King Xun as they rushed out of the net. In emperor's possession, seeing the invincible aura of emperor, the group of Chen Beijia lost their colors. Yes, the item that Heavenly Prince King Sun summoned was an emperor's possession in the form of a ring. Even though its power was limited in usage, it could protect them as they made their way out of the entrapment without any issues. You want to escape? It won't be that easy. Li Kai smiled with the invisible dual blade in his hands. Zhang. Suddenly, the two blades shattered as Li Kai uttered a roar. The shattered blade spewed out emperor power that suddenly aggregated into two large blades. Decapitate, Li Kai howled, and the emperor blades cut through the sky straight towards the emperor's ring that was protecting the group of Heavenly Prince King Sun. Li Kai destroyed his invisible dual blades and unleashed the remaining emperor's power into his strike that was capable of cutting down even the sun and the moon. The emperor's ring felt threatened so it unleashed an invincible power to face the emperor's blades. Under the presence of the emperor's powers, the entire evil infested ridge trembled. The power of two immortal emperors colliding would have an unthinkable consequence. Boom. A loud explosion reverberated throughout the entire ridge. All existences including, heavenly beasts and longevity spirits, shook in fear. 